Hey there, my name is Shane Craddock and this is the Inner Edge podcast where I share a different take on how to lead and live a sustainable high performance life. Over the course of different episodes, I'm going to challenge the belief that tension, stress and struggle are essential to success and creativity. My experience is that there's an easier way, there's a better way and indeed there's an essential way that we need to explore for the times that we live in. So let's go ahead, let's jump in and explore. Hi there. Uh, Today's episode is inspired partly by the actor Tom Hanks. I was watching a, I don't know how I came across, somebody, maybe it was somewhere on YouTube, I came across something to do with where Tom Hanks was speaking at one of these kind of private, it was obviously an awards ceremony that he was involved in, but there was a round table with four or five actors, all the actors that were up for the nomination for the, I presume it was best actor category, whatever it was. We're in award season, I guess, as I'm recording this, so it's probably something quite recent. But he was he was sharing some something that he uh, some wisdom that he felt was very important and wish he'd known it sooner. And it reminded me of the wisdom, and it also reminded me of the the story around the wisdom in terms of the way that I heard it before. And there's four letters in the sentence with this advice. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. You have to stay stay with me on this one, trust me. Um, but the letters are TTSP, TTSP. So the way I lead us into this today is through a simple story. And it was, uh, the story I heard it was, it was a, a king of a massive land, the biggest land, you know, in in the world. And he decided that he wanted to discover what were the wisest words known to humans. And because he was very wealthy, he was able to hire and find the best people, pay them to go out and find the best advice, the most wise advice ever known. And they spent many years, all these different wise people, these researchers, and they went around his land looking for the sagest wisest people and they collated the answers and then they narrowed it all down to what they considered to be the wisest words ever spoken and they found four words uh, that the TTSP is the acronym for the four words (laughs) and then they presented it to him and here are the words this too shall pass this too shall pass now We can have a debate, you and me, about whether they are the actual wisest words. But what I will say is I think they are very wise words. And if shame has gone back, I've been asked this before, you know, if I was going back to my 18 year old self, what advice would I give? That's definitely one of the bits of advice I would give myself without a doubt. Um, Now, most of the time, and this is where I want to bring a slightly different angle on it. Obviously, this is the inner edge. Um... But the different angle on this is maybe to do with the negative and positive. And I find it's funny, you know, sometimes our, like our minds will always label something as good or bad, whether we like it or we don't like it. But as the, I think as was Shakespeare said, there's nothing good or bad, but thinking make it so. It's how we think about something that actually can make it bad or negative. But let's just say we're going through something or something that's happened that's that we don't like. It's negative. It's difficult circumstances. It's just crap. And that's generally where the phrase, this too shall pass, I suppose, from my experience, comes to bear. It's like, you know, okay, look, this too shall pass. This is not pleasant. This is difficult. Um, This is crap. But this too shall pass. So it's used mostly with the negative, but I want to give you a positive angle in a minute. So bear with me. But on the negative, it's definitely worth bearing in mind because things do pass. Time is, and it's another phrase, time is a healer. It's linked to, the, to this too shall pass. Maybe your your relationship breaks up. Maybe you lose a job. Maybe you don't get something that you believed you should have got. Maybe you got overlooked um, for an award or recognition. Maybe your business lost a key contract. Maybe you dropped the ball significantly. Maybe in the moment right now, you're thinking that the world is ending. Maybe somebody got sick, maybe somebody died. All really difficult, real things, but this too shall pass. The pain will ease. Time is a gift in many ways, if we let it be. Sometimes we can get stuck. And certainly when we're in the moment when things that we don't like happen, 
when reality comes in and maybe life gives us a kick or a punch, we can often think, oh, this is the way it is. You know, life sucks. Everything is crap. And I remember myself back when I was in the midst of my dark, worst days of depression in my mid-twenties. Um, I would have done well to remember that this too shall pass because at times I felt, no, this isn't going to pass. This is my life now. And at the time, that was why I guess maybe I ended up going into a suicidal phrase, which I don't say lightly. Um, I certainly wasn't thinking about this too shall pass. With experience and with life experience, you kind of tend to realise, oh yeah, okay, tough times do pass, number one, and tough times also bring with them gifts, gifts for growth, gifts for character growth, gifts for just unexpected things that when bad things happen, there's always going to be something good that will arise out of that. It's very hard to predict what it is. Sometimes it's a new aspect of yourself developed, new skills developed, perhaps new people met, new relationships developed. It could be anything. New horizons explored. Who knows? So this too shall pass is a very important phrase with a lot of wisdom and depth in it from my experience. And especially when things are difficult. Uh, sometimes the time when you say, yeah, this too shall pass, but I wish it would pass quicker, Shane. Yeah, fair enough. I've been there. I, I, I get that. But we can't rush certain things. Some things pass quickly, some things not so much. And then on the flip side, and this is maybe where I'd, I'd, I'd ask you to lean in a little bit, is on the positive side of things, this too shall pass too. Like things that are great that you sometimes think, oh, you know, it's good. if it could stay like this forever, it'd be amazing. But this too shall pass. I'm looking at my kids at the moment. Uh, Jane is almost 16, Sam is 14. And it's a nice phase but this too shall pass and life is busy. And so I use that as a way to remind myself that, oh, remember Shane, that you have to look at the opportunities now for living, for connecting with them, for making memories. This too shall pass. So how are you going to create an opportunity here? What are you going to do? Don't assume that, you know, oh, I'll do this, this and this when I get time. And that's a mistake that a lot of us make. I'm big into drama. I think I might have shared a couple of times on this podcast that I've written a couple of plays. and But I also uh, act occasionally with a local drama group. And it's something I always observe in myself is that, you know, you get together, you learn a script, you learn the lines, you f make a production, you put it on in front of an audience, it goes well, and you form a real bond with the people because you have a common purpose, a common focus. And then also, you know, every time, the day after the last show and the subsequent days, there's always the blues where you're down because the high is gone because this too shall pass. It's it's gone. And it's not to be negative about it. In fact, to me, it's the opposite. It's more to do with reminding yourself, oh, you know, savour it, appreciate it, enjoy it. You often hear top sports people, professional sports people saying, you know, if you were going to go back to do it again, would you do anything differently? They'd say, you know what, I'd probably appreciate it more, enjoy it more because I didn't realise when you're there in the moment, you think it's going to last forever. But this too shall pass. It doesn't. And sometimes it's not until it's too late that we go, oh God, I was in a time there where that was quite unique, that was special. And I didn't really fully engage with it, I didn't appreciate it or perhaps get as much as I wanted out of it. And I think that this is where the wisdom of this too shall pass, perhaps for most, is unseen. And that's the opportunity. Not just the negative, but the positive too. Certainly with your health, you know, you can take it for granted. Um, what you have right now, this too shall pass. That might be on the negative. Well, if you're in pain, hopefully if you work to bring yourself back to health, great, this too shall pass. Um, but also on the positive. You know, you can't take it for granted, look after it appreciate it, do the things that you can do now. Nothing lasts forever. A relationship difficulty. Maybe you have one right now. Again, this too shall pass in one way or, or, or another. Sometimes it has to end. Sometimes it can be recovered and healed, made better. So, right now for yourself, as you know, I like to throw the occasional question out. 
around some of the topics that I'm exploring, because I think the reflection for you around these topics is really important because it's not so much me, I suppose, saying what to do. It's really more, from my perspective, it's more about provoking you to say, well, hang on, in your life right now today, as you're listening to this, which mode do you need to remind yourself of when it comes to those words, TTSP, this too shall pass? Is it on something where you have a high level of pain or frustration? And maybe just to say, you know what, it's okay. Don't resist. This too shall pass. Let's just take some positive steps forward positive steps daily. This too shall pass. And then on the flip side, maybe there's something that's really good at the moment. People, um, circumstances, where you just say, you know what, I need to appreciate this more and stop keep, stop looking for the next thing or agitating myself. So where can you take your own wisdom around this particular point? Um, where can you capitalize on the opportunity of good? Even for me, as I was thinking about this particular episode, I'm thinking, I'm looking at my kids and thinking, okay, you know, my daughter's in transition year, um, which is a year between kind of the middle exam in Ireland on, on a second second level. And then before she gets into the intensity of finishing off, I guess, high school or secondary level. Um, but there's opportunities right now to capitalize on that. So I'm asking myself that. I'm also reflecting on thinking, well, where can you ease the pain from a bad situation? Or where are you getting frustrated where can you take the wisdom of this too shall pass? There's many things going on around me at the moment that I'm looking at thinking, okay, yeah, this isn't permanent. This this too shall pass. There's no point letting my mind take perhaps the hassle of something going on today and project it into the future. No, this too shall pass. So what about you? Work, your life, relationships, good and bad, this too shall pass. Where can you apply it? That's pretty much it for today. The wise words, TTSP, this too shall pass. Ciao for now.